What is up, masterminds? Welcome back to Master Our Media. We have a lot to talk about today. The first being the possibility of the mastered ultra instinct form coming out of Goku. It could possibly be full silver. In fact, I'm almost positive it is. Toei has been teasing us, saying that Goku's mastered Ultra Instinct form will look different in a sense because it only shows us a silhouette. It looks exactly like the Ultra Instinct Goku we've always seen, and the only real possible change that could be on top of this is a hair color change, which would make sense if it's the completed Ultra Instinct. Now we have been getting some images from V-Jump Magazine and it shows here a silver haired Goku sitting in between Vegeta and Gohan. Now this could be for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as they did announce that Ultra Instinct Goku would become a DLC confirmed. Or it could be also for Dragon Ball Heroes, that's why I didn't want to say 100% confirmed silver haired Goku is real. Because it may not, but I think it's pretty clear here that Ultra Instinct Mastered is going to be complete silver. That would make sense why Goku's Ultra Instinct has silver eyes but still has black hair because it's basically a halfway transformation, which is interesting because that's what a lot of people predicted when we first saw Ultra Instinct. Now we do have some preview images here released by Toei for tonight's episode and it turns out that Goku is going to be turning Ultra Instinct in this episode and starting his battle with Jiren yet again. However, Goku does not have silver hair here, so unless the battle heats up, unless it's really episode 129 that Goku masters Ultra Instinct, that could be another indicator that this isn't true, but from the spoilers that we've gotten, it sounds like Goku will be mastering it in episode 129. Here are some more preview images. This image is of Jiren going to KO Vegeta with his power fist, and Vegeta does not look good in this episode. As we've seen from the preview, Vegeta is just going to be getting smacked around. He's got a black eye. Here he is shooting his final, final flash. Now, Govita XV on Twitter released some more spoiler information for episode 128. Let's go ahead and read this. Vegeta is barely standing. He can't even go Super Saiyan, but his will never disappears. With some harsh talk, Vegeta rushes towards Jiren. His attacks get defended against easily, and instead he got countered. He keeps going on, moving forward tenaciously, Krillin and the others watch over with a grief look. Vegeta got beaten many times and nearly falls out of the arena, but he gets stuck in the debris and is suspended mid-air. With nearly half-conscious Vegeta, he listens to the voice of Bulma. Now, is that an indicator that Vegeta does not get eliminated? It says... Uh, the, the title for the episode is that Vegeta falls, but from this spoiler information, it appears that he falls and he's about to be falling out of the arena, but like his foot gets stuck in, in a rock and he's basically hanging suspended in midair. So that, it, that could be a big indicator here that Vegeta doesn't get eliminated and maybe he does come back to the rescue in episode 130 or something like that. That would be really cool to see Vegeta be a part of the victory for Universe 7. It's a possibility. It's not confirmed that Vegeta won't go out in this episode. I still think he's probably going to go out, but from what this spoiler information sounds like, it says he's going to get stuck in the debris and suspended midair. So we'll see what that means. Now, Herms98 on Twitter says that the next issue of V-Jump will have Toriyama's design for completed Ultra Instinct. Apparently, he's got silver hair. And by the way, uh, if you guys like fighters, Broly and Bardock will be D DLC in fighters. So what I suspect is that over the next week or so, we're going to get, probably within the next few days, honestly, we're going to get a ton of scans of mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. But we may not even need to go that far because after tonight's episode, when we watch the episode 129 preview, it very well may show us this silver haired, silver eyed Goku that is mastered Ultra Instinct. Now these toys have actually been circulating for a while. This is a silver haired Goku, but this is not made by Bandai. This is a ripoff, a, a fake, like a clone made by some Chinese company. And this is not confirmation of a full silver Ultra Instinct Goku. 
However, if you guys remember, back in the day, there was an interview with Toriyama where he said that he wanted to give Goku a white-haired form, but it conflicted with the enemy at that time, that being Merge Zamasu. But if that's the case, Jiren's a baldy now, so obviously the hair color doesn't conflict, and this is the perfect opportunity for him to give us that Super Saiyan white or Super Saiyan silver form that we've been talking about and theorizing about for a very long time. Now, I think it does make perfect sense here that if Goku masters Ultra Instinct, the hair should change as well. And the other interesting thing about that is if he does get this silverish, whitish hair, guess what? That is incredibly similar to Whis and all of the angels, at least we know Whis has Ultra Instinct, it can be assumed that all of the angels do as well. And I'm wondering if full mastery of Ultra Instinct is what makes your hair that color, and if that's why all of the angels have white hair. Are they in that constant state of mastered Ultra Instinct? That would kind of make sense, and would that mean that Goku in this form is angel level? That would be absolutely insane. Jiren, who is stronger than Gods of Destruction, pretty much God of Destruction Topo was nothing to Jiren, so does that mean that you can put Jiren at angel level? I mean, maybe, maybe not, but if Goku masters this Ultra Instinct and he essentially looks like an angel, I think it's going to be a really good fight. I think Goku at that level may have what it takes to beat Jiren. The only question is, can he maintain that form for a long enough time? And is something going to happen? Is Goku going to finally get the upper hand in the fight? And then something happens like he runs out of power and faints, and then it's down to Vegeta and Frieza, or it's down to to simply just Frieza and it's a tie. So a lot of things could still happen here, but I know fans are really, really excited to see Goku master Ultra Instinct and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get to see the full form in the preview for the next episode tonight. Now the thing is there won't be an episode next weekend. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take a little break which is another interesting reason why I think that we are going to see this silver-haired preview for episode 129 because they do like to, uh, on the episodes where there's going to be a break the next episode, give us some major hint or tease as to what's going to happen to build the crazy amount of hype for that episode. So I'm almost positive we'll know tonight, guys. This would be absolutely amazing to see this white-haired or silver-haired Goku. I know fans are perfectly okay with that. From the silhouette that was shown, it doesn't look like he's going to have the Super Saiyan hairstyle, just that uh, his hair will be silver, which is also pretty cool. I do like the way that Ultra Instinct's hair is kind of like halfway between base form and Super Saiyan. I think it's awesome. And if they just add the silver glow to that, that's even more cool, and I'm all for it. Now, the real question is how much stronger does Goku get with this mastered Ultra Instinct form? As we remember from episode 116 when Goku was fighting Kefla, Whis was telling us that basically he didn't have the attacking half of Ultra Instinct uh, mastered yet. He was still thinking about his attacks, whereas Ultra Instinct, you're supposed to just not even think. Your body is pretty much on autopilot. It's instincts. But if you take a look at the defensive gain boost from what we've seen so far out of Ultra Instinct and then apply that gain boost to his attack, I mean, his attacks are just going to be absolutely devastating. Hopefully, we finally get some explanation as to, is Ultra Instinct God Key? We still don't even know that. What is the reasoning for the power increase? I mean, if you're thinking automatically or your body's moving automatically, that doesn't mean you're going to get any stronger. That just means that you're going to be attacking quicker, really. But leave it to Dragon Ball Super. I mean, they're probably not going to explain things in that great of detail. We're also so close to the ending here for Dragon Ball Super that like, I feel like they can't really afford to waste any time explaining things, which kind of sucks for us fans. It, it is does feel rushed, like they're really just rushing to the end of the, uh, the series so that they can get into the movie. And I'm just really hoping they explain some things because they didn't explain Vegeta's form at all. They still didn't even give it a freaking name, which was really, really disappointing and I'm hoping that this super hyped Ultra Instinct mastered form out of Goku will finally get some explanation out of Whis and it'll teach us some things because Dragon Ball Super fans hate being left in the dark. We want to know these little factoids mean everything to us. When they explain things to us, it means everything to us fans and I'm just I'm really hoping we get something before the series ends and it's not just completely mysterious. That's all I got for this one guys. I'll be seeing you later tonight for the episode 128 
review. Have a wonderful day, fellas, and I'll be seeing you soon.